boat's all set. Let's go. All right, we just hooked up with what I believe to be a small red. Yep, little rat red. Just creeping a little white grub on the bottom. Pretty little guy. We'll get him out of here, see if we can do it again. There's one. Another little red. We'll take him. Small but mighty. Get you back. <laughs> that pelican just uh, took a look at uh, our bait like he was going to go after it. Catch and release pelican fishing is not what we're out here to do. Though I'm sure it would be entertaining. I didn't get the bite on camera, but here's another pretty fish. Just another little rat red. We haven't got a big one yet, but uh, the search continues. I didn't catch the hook up on camera, but we're into a much better redfish here. There he goes. Tell you what powerful fish. If you haven't had the good fortune to catch one, they are a, uh, they're a match for anything in freshwater. I grew up fishing smallmouths and man, these things blow them away. Still no. Tired. 
towing the boat around a little bit. If I were in a kayak, I'd be going for a wheel ride. This little bit warmer water too has got them fired up. right back. And there she goes. Oh yeah, we're hooked up on another probably spot too. Again, didn't catch the hookup on camera. Of course. Face full of that uh, Z man, Minnow Z. supposed to happen obviously oh the fish is I'm sure the fish is fine redfish are tough as nails <sighs> try to keep her fingers out of the plates there let's get her back where it goes and if you doubted the hardness of a red fish's mouth that was uh, me trying to get the hook out. Grabbed it with a pair of pliers, fish twisted, and just absolutely mangled that uh, that hook there. Looking at maybe taking a, a change of venue here, uh, run into another creek, seeing if we can find some bigger trout. We found some real small ones in here. See, there we go. Three casts, three bites. 
Well, they're just these little cookie cutters. Pretty fish, but also very small. Looks like we caught the three dumb ones right off the bat. Got a nice trout here on the old uh, swim, swim bait. Whew. Nice fat fish. And I gotta grab the uh, maybe a yeah. nice chunky fish. Get it back here. If we hurt one, we'll put it in the box, but otherwise, this is a catch and release mission. Looks like we got a little bit school of better fish over here, so we're gonna anchor up on it. See, uh, see what we can do. It's another nice keeper. We're not gonna throw it on a measure. We're just gonna take a picture real quick and show you all what we got here and uh, let it go. She's ready. She's off. up on another red, a very big one, and everything's been chewing that redfish toad color. Get from my board here, or her, oh. grab that hook with pliers and shake her out. Here comes the sun. Just put the jacket back on, I'm going to have to take it off. There she goes. Oh, we're hooked up on another big trout. You can't see it off camera here. This one's a pretty big one. Again, ate that redfish toad. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's a fish. Look at that. There's another stud. That fish absolutely housed that bait. Um, let me uh, let me get everything going here. We are gonna throw that one on the board. That fish is a girthy sucker. Oh no. Unfortunately, this trout is hurt. Uh, I'll show you here in just a second. What we got going on, I've let him go before bleeding and uh, it hasn't turned out very well, so this one is going to go home. Unfortunately, I, I hate to keep a fish like this. Again, not an ideal situation, but uh, we're going to get it home and uh, we're going to eat it. So we're going to make the best of a bad situation. Oh, oh boy, that's fishing. I mean, that's what we're out here for, but. I'd like to get those big ones back. 